Now, my next guest, Dr. Marie Calder Diuda, um, has done something really rather brave, and she joins me from Oriel College right now. Thank you very much uh, for joining us, and welcome to GB News. Now, I, I know the debate around the Cecil Rhodes statue, and of course, Rhodes endowed Oriel College with what was an you know, astonishing sum of money in the old days. And we have the Rhodes Scholars, including Bill Clinton and many famous other people. But whenever I've seen, uh, whenever I've seen Rhodes College, it's, it's protest. But you've got a rather different view on this, haven't you? Well, I have a slightly different view than, let's say, the vocal minority. But I'm not sure my view is that singular at all. Interesting, because we haven't heard the other view. I mean, you know, and you, and you talk about a minority, but we see pictures of students protesting. Uh, we see pictures, indeed, you know, of lecturers and professors uh, equally saying that roads should fall. Um, but tell us, I mean, you made some quite strong comments about your colleagues, uh, basically saying that they were virtue signalers uh, and acting in a rather overprivileged way. Well, I wouldn't say they are virtue signalers. I'd say they are virtue signalling and commenting on one specific action that they are taking against the statue, which, well, is not a judgment against the personality, but simply about the stand they are taking. OK, and, 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 and so, would, so would you like to see... Would you like to see us looking at our history rather differently? Because it seems... We're going through a period when one of the arguments, and we do hear it in some of our universities, is that because parts of our past we find unacceptable in terms of the way we live today, that we should somehow erase or cancel our past. How do you think, you know, Oriel in particular should deal... And, by the way, Rhodes was not a slave trader by any means, uh, but he was absolutely a colonialist. How should we deal... How should we think about, look at, that historical legacy? Well, first, we shouldn't pin all of these adjectives on Rhodes exclusively. Of course, he was a colonialist, but most of the Victorian and Edwardian people of his time were because they view it as the way the British Empire had to grow. Um, it was, let's say, the view of their times, but it has influenced the present we are living in. And the institution of Oxford owes a lot to the, the money that was uh, derived from colonial, uh, colonial trade from, uh, well, in Rhodesia, what was Rhodesia at that yeah. time, the diamond mining. Yet it has turned into an amazing centre of transmission and preservation of knowledge. And it's a bit sad to focus on, let's say, an uncomfortable past while the present is actually bright and very promising. As an African tutor here, I can see how actually tolerant and inclusive the university is, not because of any campaign or statement or whatever, but because there are so many dedicated academics who are just willing to give the best possible experience to their students, to give them, well, to tr transmit to them everything they have learned so that the students, in turn, can be um, sharers, transmitters of knowledge and culture. And that's something we should focus on much more than emitting opinions about things that ultimately are only transient. Well, I must say, I think that's a very positive uh, and very uplifting way to end this little discussion and thank you uh, very much for coming on and for giving it. And wasn't that nice to actually hear some positivity coming out of Oriel College, some positivity you know, coming out of a university and I thought that was really rather good. Uh, I, I don't know what backlash she might face over the next few days. I hope not very much because, you know, she's basically said the past was the past, we can't change it and the endowment uh, that was given to Oriel College from Cecil Rhodes was £100,000, which, if we go back to uh, Edwardian England, was a huge, huge sum of money and it has benefited an awful lot of people.
Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.